और आपको हंसते हुए देखकर मेरे को बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा है थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर अभी तक यहाँ पे डेल्टा वेरियंट का कोई केस नजर नहीं आया सो विच इज अ गुड साइन आई एम होपिंग दैट थिंग्स शुड be normal because kafi controls hain yahan pe government ke so yeah. overall I, i guess picture is looking pretty much clear and clean as far as singapore is concerned oh good good yeah. i i remember you contacted me last uh, year i think once for consultation and then you you came back again the second time so i'm assuming that you were happy and with the money well spent in the first consultation that you returned and you know always we look at return customers uh you are in the business you know that when the clients come back so they must have got their money's worth so you came back and you uh, you are a smart guy you are it guy uh and uh, you know singapore is uh, you are working i you know i i love singapore first of all i love singapore and i love clients from singapore and hong kong these are twin cities from which i always love these people are it guy it uh, professionals and they want to do the case on their own so you did apply on the study visa and spouse visa and your with the children everything on their own and yeah. tell, and tell me what is the message that you got today so the application i guess is approved now uh, as what i can see from my rcc's website um initially i was a little unsure of the fact whether it is approved or not because it did not <laughs> really say that it is done it is approved or something Uh, yeah. but all they mentioned is that um, i'll probably share my screen as well sir uh, for your reference no, it's, it's okay so okay. i i know what the message is when when it says okay. the decision when the decision has been made we require a passport to proceed so that means they have approved the visa correct correct okay. yeah so so that is for the student the main student that's right which is my wife in this particular case okay. and and the and you you likely have the same message for rest of the family members exactly so how many people there total four or three total four people yes for my wife myself and my two young kids um, aged 5 and 1 and a half wonderful so all all i i like the smile on your face all four people have got the visa it means they have been approved for the visa that's all right. you have to do is go there tomorrow uh, to the uh, kilian yes. high commission in singapore yeah. and give them the passport and lo and behold within about 7 days or so you will have the visa in your hands wonderful okay good good to know about it sir uh, i i was you know just uh, sharing it with my parents i was telling my mother and my father and i was telling them that probably mr amar jodh is the only person who suggested us to go ahead without any fear and believe yeah. me or not i i was in fact talking to dipika in the day as well that whatever the case may be i am going to reach out to mr amar jodh and say sir yes i am yeah. your testament in front of you <laughs> the the i know i i appreciate look look i i i have i have no secrets in life i don't like to keep secrets i talk frankly and you know especially this is business i as you understand you are in the business world you are in sales marketing and you are do other things also uh this is uh, this is uh, business but uh i have purposefully told people to apply on their own and i i did tell you as well i think uh, yes. that you should uh, apply on your own because i i can i can tell some some people who are mature and professionals they can handle it themselves i had i had no doubt from the first day uh, itself when i talked to you last year that i think you can handle this on your own and uh, and and lo and behold you have the success and plus uh, you know also i have i have maintained my philosophy for many years uh, the whole family should go together uh many people in india and other places also they always ask me uh you know should we send the wife first and then we will follow after 6 months or blah 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 other way around or something and uh, many many consultants and lawyers even in canada also they always say you know ki bhai risk bahut hai risk bahut hai pehle aisa karo ki student ko bhej do uske baad ek semester ke baad bhejna you know they, they want to preserve their commissions and they you know ki bhai aisa na ho ke refuse ho jaye to hume even lose revenue but no i this is not my philosophy this has never been my philosophy my philosophy has been pay agar jana hai 
तो सबको इकट्ठे जाना है अगर नहीं जाना तो भाई सब जने इकट्ठे में ही बैठो सॉट वैलिडेशन फ्रॉम क्लाइंट लाइक यू कि भाई मेरी जो एडवाइस है वो काम कर रही है कि नहीं आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग थियोरिटिकल आई मीन सो you know it 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 is working it is showing results and that's what it is so uh, so so wonderful wonderful news aman or uh, visa aapko mil jayega matlab mil gaya in a within 7 10 days i want you to start packing up and then uh, leave uh, for canada as soon as possible kyunki ye bhi ye virus ka situation hai kya hai you know i just came back from india just about 3 uh, days ago okay uh, there there are no direct flights i had to go to europe i had to stay in europe for 3 days in in serbia and then take another flight and then montreal and and you know quality it is it is a hassle to to travel like this but Are you uh, the, vaccinated fully vaccinated or uh... i i'm not fully vaccinated but i think for somebody who's fully vaccinated from today i think from 5th they will they can avoid the three day uh, quarantine in hotel but otherwise they have to do the isolation and other things but okay. you know if, uh, so the 11 day isolation still um, uh, is still in place that's, right that's right 14 day quarantine quarantine is still mandatory but you can do this at your home not in a hotel that's the difference i see so so the hotel thing was it is expensive lot of students i saw they were coming with me and work permit holders mm-hmm. and uh, you have you have to pay money to the hotel and hotels are exorbitantly expensive because they're charging close to 400 500 dollars uh, yeah. a day and then at least 3 days but if you get the report uh, clear report they will test you on the first day as soon as you land at the airport they will test you if your report is clear uh, and uh, you can leave the hotel and proceed to your address to complete the rest of the 14 days yeah. but if you are fully vaccinated just like you know uh, the new policy as of uh, yesterday if you are fully vaccinated you will be able to avoid that hotel stay mm-hmm. so but uh, you know uh, what what i'm what what i'm you know saying ab- about all this is that before the policy changes we do not know how this virus thing will unfold in the in the coming days i think uh, you should uh, quickly pack up and then uh, you know as soon as possible you know make arrangements to proceed to canada sure sure a um, couple of things which i would like to check with you sir uh, i have my two kids as i mentioned right so both of the kids are not vaccinated i guess none of the countries have actually started vaccinating the children so far but me and my wife will be fully vaccinated by the end of this particular month which is july yeah. uh, so now by the time we reach there so when you say that self isolation is still mandatory which is two weeks of time period um, in this particular case do we still need to go through that route of three day hotel because the kids are not vaccinated yeah i i do not know the answer to this question you have to check on the website because this policy was made uh, you know introduced just uh, you know yesterday i do not know go to ircc mm-hmm. go to google type ircc slash covid something covid 19 or something okay. and you will be able to see see those but if the kids are pretty young how old are the kids um the elder one is about 5 and a half the younger okay. one is about 1 and a half yeah most likely most likely because they are they are accompanying the parents also so most likely they you, they cannot be segregated in a you know separate exactly. because they will have if you are if uh, if you are in isolation they probably will be tagged along with you but mm-hmm. i i'm not i'm not uh, sure about that policy you will need to go and check on the website and what is the policy for the children yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but if you if you are uh, you are double vaccinated in singapore i shall be by the end of this particular month okay i i think i think you should oh, of course uh, after vaccination you need a gap of 14 days again yeah yeah i mean that should be uh, fairly even okay. we will be planning our travel in such a way that we have okay. 14 days of gap yeah okay so yeah. so everything else is pretty much uh, as as it is and uh, okay. you po- possibly also have to apply for travel authorization i made a video about travel authorization and i and i listed that special email you can do this through that email uh, then you uh, you know show them your approval letter your visa and uh, you know you are coming there you know for the study purpose so they will give you the travel authorization and that's it you you will have to show that travel authorization when you board the go the airline okay okay yeah. sure sir i'll go and take a look on that part as well yeah uh, 
Uh, yeah. What what is what is the chief uh, what is the chief uh, takeaway that you experience on uh, first of all let's let's uh, uh, ramp up a little bit in from the first consultation to the second consultation what was the chief doubt uh, in the second consultation that uh, you clarified and you know something and I and I remember uh, uh, not much about the details but I remember in the second consultation there was some sticking points that you want remove so that you can proceed for the submission. What were those obstacles and what was those objections? So I, okay, so you have to summarize, I guess the first uh, session with you was more towards whether should we even be going ahead with this application or not. And what was our use case I wanted to understand because a lot of YouTube videos were completely on a very different, you know, completely different path stating that you should not be going ahead as a family. And uh, so there were a lot of doubts in my mind, which I wanted to clarify. So that was a modus operandi of the first session. The second one was probably, I guess, three months afterwards, uh, where we had a clarity of mind, at least in ourselves, that yes, we are going ahead to file an application. And before we submit, or before we click that submission button, I wanted to you know, have a review with you once again, just to make sure that we are following the right rules and regulations. We are abiding the exact um, you know, um, guidelines, what IRCC expects an applicant to be um, uh, beholding. And that was primarily the reason why I wanted to have a second consultation with you. But what what were those points that I think we made correction in your SOP or what there was something that... Yes, in the SOP, I remember, uh, which was which was submitted by my wife uh, because she was a primary applicant as a study uh, permit visa holder, uh, the SOP for her. And uh, then I guess the other part was how should I be writing my SOP because there was again an area uh, where yeah. an SOP had to be submitted by the secondary uh, applicant yeah. and uh, how should we be including our PCCs, you know, the police clearance certificates, um, the um, any additional documents which were supposed to be added there. And I guess the third doubt which I had back then was the CAQ approval for my kid, which was not available at the time of our second consultation. So I was kind of worried that, you know, the three week time period had already gone through. I was still not ready with my CAQ. Um, the CAQ department uh, did not share me the approval letter for my elder one. And uh, I guess that was my third and the last uh, doubt which I had. Yeah, yeah. We, we, made, we, we possibly made some drastic changes in the SOP. I yes. think the, most, most people write <laughs> SOP like they are writing a uh, writing an essay on man is a social animal when we do this. <laughs> and, you know, I, I've always maintained that SOP should not be more than one page yeah. uh, tops. Uh, and uh, there are basic questions and the question has to be laser focused uh, on, you know, why are you going to Canada? Why did you choose uh, this this university? What is your goal? How much money do you have? Blah, 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 in those things. But uh, among 95% of all the applications that I've seen, then they write SOP. I think the SOP is the main killer. Uh, they they write too much. They write excessively. They copy and paste from Google or they do consultants. They write for themselves, and you know they they just they just wreck the whole application by the SOP itself. Yeah. So I I always I may have I don't remember now I may have uh, asked you to revamp your SOP and that maybe but otherwise you have excellent background by the way you you have a good uh, professional background and your and the university and the course that you're doing is 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 a STEM STEM course. Yeah. I've always maintained that people should go for science, technology, you know, uh, math, uh, engineering, math program that has a much higher approval rate statistically than than going for a, like a supply chain or business management or something. Uh, those have an inferior uh, approval rate. So, uh, yeah. all in all, I'm I'm quite pleased. And uh, when I saw your message and saying, "Look, we got a message," and say, "This message is approval message," <laughs> I say, "I want to talk to you." And Probably, I guess the IRCC website was a little slow in the morning today in Singapore time. Um, the the moment I kind of downloaded that you know PDF, yeah. which came in and stated that yeah they have made a decision, but. If I have to go back to the, you know, um, the IRCC website and check the other details uh, yeah. in my application portal, then the application kind of logged out and probably they were having some sort of downtime during the daytime in Singapore, probably because of the Canadian offers. And uh, now I see that the message is displayed as the visa application is approved. So fingers crossed, I'm going to submit my passports, uh, you know, for the family tomorrow to the VAC here. And uh, hopefully I should be able to hear from them pretty soon. That's a that's a that's a good uh, positive sign because I have other applications pending just like yours. They are also IT people, but they are working in India now. Okay. IT people, 
people and other you know professionals both husband wife uh, professionals and maybe working in uh, one of those uh, cyber uh, uh, you know uh, multinationals and um, so uh, delhi is taking a long time to process these application for some reason but your application was approved from singapore so i'm i'm always pleased with singapore for some reason or the other <laughs> And uh, uh, you know because maybe lack of other volume of application they they uh, how, how, long, yeah. how, long, how long did it take for your um, application? So I applied on twenty fifth of April, um, just about ten months today, as I can see on the clock. Um, I was I was actually hoping you know by the time I kind of applied for it, it was stating on IRCC website that it will take about seven to eight weeks of time, but yeah. surprisingly it took a little longer. And one thing which I am still not too clear if I see IRCC's website and see that what is the status payload right now as to what um, you know week application are they kind of resolving as of today, it will still say that they are finalizing the applications which were submitted in the last week of March. So based on yeah. that calculation, I was hoping that I should be hearing from IRCC sometime around end of July. But to my good surprise, it, it came in today. So all all well. <laughs> when when you see the when you see the approval uh, uh, approval letter, do, does it show the address from uh, Ottawa, Canada, or does it show address from uh, it uh, doesn't, Singapore? It doesn't say anything. All it says is that this is in reference. To your application for temporary residence, yeah. decision has been made. Nothing, nothing else. Uh, yeah. it, it doesn't say whether it is successful, fail, on hold, etc. It, it doesn't really say anything. All it says is just go ahead and submit the application, uh, submit the passport, so that they can finalize processing the yeah. application. Yeah. Even eventually, you'll get the approval letter. Once it is done, you will get an approval letter. Uh, hmm. It will it will generate on your on, on your system. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I would I would be very inquisitive to know whether somebody made the decision in Ottawa, or there was a decision made locally in Singapore about your application because you are based okay. in Singapore. So I should be expecting that sort of a letter when the passport stamping is done, or I should be expecting in in any time soon. When maybe. when when the when the passport is done, when the visa okay. is done. Okay, so maybe tomorrow I submit the passport to VSE. VSE will then hand over the passports to uh, local yeah. embassy consulate, and yes. Yes. this. ETA is supposed to be seven to eight working days, is it? Uh, when you use the word ETA, what do you mean ETA? So basically, the estimated time of uh, completion here. Oh, if estimated I... time, expected. Oh, I say ETA, I say ETA. Oh, expected time of expect. Right. I say you know, it's like I'm driving in a cab. What is the expected time of arrival? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's uh, you know, uh, I don't know about Singapore, you know, because uh, this may take between seven. Uh, it may not, it should not take longer than seven to ten days. I see. Okay. It should okay. not take. Than seven to ten days. Okay. So, I mean, it does, it does not make sense. You know, I had a guy from uh, from Africa who was uh, who got this. Uh, you know, uh, thing within I think three days, three to four days also as well. Nice. So, it all depends on the caseload on the different stamping. Right. I I don't expect a lot of uh, volume at, at uh, Singapore Singapore uh, visa post. Mm -hmm. So fairly soon. Fairly <laughs> How's your wife and children? How how are they feeling? They they are doing pretty well. Uh, they're doing pretty well. Uh, wife is excited as well. So it is a completely different geography for all of us. Um, uh, settling in from a tropical country from last 11, 12 years, now going into yeah. uh, North American region with pretty harsh winters, I guess. Yeah. It's, yeah. Be a, yeah. it's going to be some change for us, for sure. It is It is going to be drastic change and change for the better. And it's, it's, a, it's Canada's <laughs> game because Canada needs people like you, IT people. Uh, who, are, who are accomplished, who have uh, a STEM uh, background and who bring uh, key skills, uh, you know, who are young and eventually who will uh, attain uh, PR. The more, uh, you know, uh, the Canadian citizens in, <laughs> as, as you know, uh, the, the population of Canada is 36 million and mm -hmm. uh, a majority of them are uh, senior, uh, not majority, I would say a, a, a great percentage of them are turning senior at a, at a faster rate. Mm -hmm. We need young people to come and support the economy so that you can come and work and then pay taxes so that you can support my pension and my <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the nature of the game, actually. That's most <laughs> countries want it. So if, if in Canada everybody becomes old and there are no young people coming in, uh, who, will, who will pay our pension? So who will pay taxes? And we need people like you who, who will get a job, who will make money. Yeah. Who will spend money? And you, you are going to buy a house and car and insurance other thing. You will spend money, uh, you know, uh, in the economy here. So you will cre help create jobs. So this is this is a this is a game. I mean, this is a cyclical game. <laughs> you know, 
uh, you you may think that you know Canada has has uh, you know you know uh, I mean you are lucky to go to Canada. I I would say Canada is lucky to have you. Mm-hmm. Let's let's put it this this way. So uh, you know I I um, congratulate you on your success, and I'm I'm greatly uh, excited about your impending arrival, Thank and you. Uh, you know good wishes from from my side to you ever. If if uh, if you help uh, you know have any way to come to Alberta sometime whenever you do always you can welcome to visit uh, me and, uh, and say say hello. Absolutely, thank you, thank you so much for all the time that you have spent across, and uh, your sharings actually helped us a, a great bit. So thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank yeah. you, Mantha. Thanks, bye. Bye.